Hello and welcome to another Doctor Assistant 1 video. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this one shorter than past behind the scenes so far kind of videos. A lot of them drag on way long. That's usually because I go off on some crazy tangent about something else. Or I start saying something and yeah I go on with something else. Uh, that happens a lot uh, with me both on video especially these videos and a lot in real life <laughs> anyway yeah um yeah i was just thinking as i was as i rewatched this one on my video camera um comment below if you thought this if a lot of my part falls to episodes are usually the weakest parts whether it's a five part story or a six part story i haven't done a four part story in a long time and that's probably because of that reason maybe you know by the time i get to the fourth part uh, it goes plummeting down, and the three, the three were good build-ups um, and whatnot. But you know, cop-out ending. Even though I've got a killer ending, I hope I execute it well. Oh, I've got a killer ending to part six of Daleks of War. Um, I really do think that this one was a bit all over the place. Um, originally, I was gonna have the War Doctor carry the Eleventh Doctor, who's all the way over there. Um, like like blue tack his arms and whatnot but that just didn't work and it was just ridiculous and that um and yeah i don't know it was just ridiculous i tried it the first time like it like i did this video once and then i accidentally pressed the record button again which is the off button like the stop recording button on my video camera so that happened and so then i had to redo it so then i was like okay you know, I, I just thought about it for a good solid 10, 15, 20 minutes of, you know, okay, so it's going to be the beginning, middle, and end, and then work from there, which I think worked. You know, there's quite a bit of stuff in this one, you know, not so much the Davrossi sort of stuff, that kind of, I wanted to still do have that, but just a bit less of that, you know, and I, and I knew that the end cliffhanger was going to be that, the, uh, you know, obviously as well, I've just thought, if you watch these before you watch the uh, uh, ep part or episode or story or whatever, do not do that. I highly recommend you don't do that because it's like watching, say, the behind the scenes of, um, of New Who, of New Doctor Who and not watching the episode. It would be pointless, you know, you'd see so much stuff of how they made things and that and then... It just ruined going back and watching the episode because it'd be like, oh, so that's how they made that, and I know how they did this and that, and oh, that makes sense, you know, and it's like, oh, it's not as good, you know. So I was just thinking that because I was about to say something about the ending, so yeah, the ending is that obviously there's the Supreme Dalek, uh, and I've just thought as well that right at the beginning of part five, I guess the War Doctor, the, well, technically to clarify, he's not the War Doctor, in my mind he's like the Valyard or the Dark Doctor is what I'm just going to refer to him as, um, and that, but all intents and purposes, he is the Doctor, but he's just born, as he said, he was born in fire and anguish, you know, so it doesn't mean that he can't better himself, you know, it's the same with what happened with, like, you know, Christopher Eccleston's Doctor, you know, he, he thought that he was the one who did the bad things in the in Time War and whatnot, but, you know, you get yourself a uh, a, a very nice young girl and, uh, uh, you know, to help you along the way and uh, she makes you feel considerably better and uh, helps you and whatnot emotionally. Uh, obviously, I'm talking about Series 1 Rose, uh, not Series 2 Rose. Ugh, abysmal. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, so the same thing can happen to the War Doctor. He can get lighter, he can still be dark, you know. Uh, and that, um, comment below if he was dark enough for you in the beginning part, because this is like, well, technically, yeah, his first real story, really, part four. Then part five, six, um, and then the first episode of series six is one that my friend is writing. Uh, so that should be interesting. I mean, from what I've read of scripts that he sent me, are uh, absolutely flawless, I would say, you know. Uh, a very creative, very imaginative and whatnot. And, uh, and yeah, he has yeah, a very, very good imagination and whatnot, especially for what he's done. You know, and that, and, uh, 
and yeah, maybe he's gonna be, maybe he wants him darker, I don't know, but, again, comment below if he was dark enough, I, I just constantly keep, I'm very paranoid about the fact that maybe he wasn't dark enough for people and that I really don't want, but yeah. Um, obviously there's a, uh, Victory of the Daleks one, and as I've said in maybe other, uh, behind the scenes videos of mine, I want to get as many variants of Daleks, you know, just to get that real sense of scope and danger, you know, and, um, also, you know, this one had a lot of set pieces, you know, lots of different stuff, you know, you got this area, which is the, you know, sort of, uh, the more modern Dalek base, uh, which are hailing the Supreme Dalek, and then you got the classic series, kind of classic, uh, base with Davros and whatnot. It's a very ambitious episode, I'll, I'll give myself that. Um, <laughs> and then you got the TARDIS. Um, again, if you were thinking what was that bleep bloop beeping about, that was what the Doctor was using to, uh, basically, that was like a gadget on his wrist, like a, gadget so he could get the TARDIS to teleport from one area to another basically so I didn't have to go do like a running scene towards the TARDIS over yonder and make it look really really bad like terribly bad um abysmal levels uh, and whatnot and also then if you're thinking oh then surely you could just you know you know go back up and leave Scarrow you know uh well no he can't because you know there's um Oh, what, what were it now? Oh, the TARDIS can only, at this point in time, just do short hops on the planet, you know, and whatnot. And uh, and is locked by the Time Lord, so, you know, and that until he, he, he does what he needs to do. And uh, and that with the, the Daleks, because in the prequel was a prequel, so you don't have to have watched that, but basically the Time Lord send the Doctor here to Scarrow to make the Time War less worse. Uh, and whatnot, and um, whatnot, and the time lo the time lords know that the time war is locked, is time locked, but the Dalek Civil War isn't, and that you know that Dalek Civil War, this you know the classic sort of that older Daleks versus the newer Daleks, you know, will get will is what makes the uh, time war all the more vicious, is basically what we're trying to say, you know, and ups the ante you know, and makes it even worse, so if the Doctor can make them less, you know, fight l uh, that bit less in the end, then, you know, the Time War will get, uh, it'll be a less of a bloodbath for the Time Lords and whatnot, so, so, yeah, that's the aim of the, out that's the aim of the end, we hope, you know, uh, what transpires at the end is for me to know and for you to find out, so, yeah, as always, thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe.